What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile Blueprint episode. So today we are going to talk about the tier 50 skin for season 11, which is the EM2 Gilded Hammer. So I finally reached the ending of the battle pass thanks to the entire diamond grind. Uh, for all of you guys that are still diamond grinding something, um, even if it's not the EM2, you're always going to be bound to make it a tier 50 pretty quickly, or even to tier 21 to unlock the main weapon of the season. Typically the way that it goes for me is that I usually unlock all the attachments, I start doing the challenges. Uh, by the time that I get to like diamond camo for you know an assault rifle or like an SMG, I end up like around maybe at like the late 30s in terms of tiers or even in the early 40s if it's an assault rifle. So definitely doing camo challenges and just the diamond grind in general usually kind of progresses you through the battle pass pretty quickly. Especially if it's just one weapon, it'll get you to like over 30, 40 tiers, who knows. However, it might progress a little faster for some of you guys that have the battle pass subscription. Unfortunately for me, it would cost more money to, you know, get that and then get the weapon to like tier 21. So yeah, like it, it would take, it, I think it would be more expensive that's w that way. So I never really got the ground forces subscription for that reason. So as for the Gilded Hammer itself, I thought it was going to be a pretty generic tier 50 skin where you know only some of the attachments are you know with that epic skin thing but apparently it's actually a lot better than you think i mean the scope is a little bit bigger the reticle for that scope is bigger so i guess it's more helpful for you to aim um you know surprisingly enough but of course i mean the mythic is going to outshine it at some point but for all those people that are not going for the mythic i mean this can help you a little bit more um even like when it comes to like when it comes to comparing it from the original as for the design, it's pretty cool. It looks, it's black and gold, uh, something that I'm usually a fan of. It look, makes it look elegant, makes it look fancy. There's no wooden parts that just kind of look out of place. I mean, even the scope looks amazing. And based how the handle looks, as well as the stock where it's kind of like blacked out with like gray, uh, des like floral designs, it kind of makes it seem like it's almost a completionist camo. Like something that you would see like in Warzone, like the original Warzone and Modern Warfare 2019. As it comes for, you know, using it on Diamond or like other completionist camos, at least for everything but Diamond, it kind of looks shitty. Um, I will say that on Damascus, I'd rather use the original weapon if I'm using that. But when it comes to, you know, Diamond camo itself, it looks perfectly designed, like almost down to every detail. I mean, it, it's perfect. Weirdly enough, when it comes to its design, um, it has a double stack mag. I believe this uh, this gun comes with like a 25 round fast mag attachment, but it's kind of weird because the 25 round fast mag attachment doesn't actually have a double stack mag. So the blueprint is like the only thing that actually does have that double stack. So ultimately, if you think about it, it does have a different reload design, I think. I I'm not sure, maybe I, I haven't like checked the 25 round mag uh, since like I got it diamond. But I, I remember it not having a double stack. I think it was just like something that, like that little cord on the bottom of the mag where you just pull it out. I think that's what it was. But yeah, for this one, it, it is a double stack mag. So finally, we get down to whether or not this is actually, you know, pay to win. For the most part, I don't really think it is. I mean, yes, the reticle is a little bit more clear, a little bit bigger for you to aim a little better. But um, I think the true pay to win stuff for the EM2 is definitely going to belong to like the Mythic when that comes out on Christmas. So yeah, uh, anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, make sure to subscribe for some more Cod Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.